Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year 2021, you guys. I am so excited for this year. We, just like you guys, are hoping that this year is a lot brighter and a lot of a more happier, positive year than 2020. I don't even want to mention 2020. Like, just saying it, I'm just like, please don't hurt me. <laughs> so, today I have for you guys five different habits that are positive habits, healthy habits that kind of have to do with a little bit of everything from self-care to health and stuff like that, um, as well as productivity of your daily life. You need these habits and I need these habits as well. Some of these are part of like my resolutions for the year. So I wanted to share them with you guys so you guys could just watch a positive video and hopefully make one of these changes for this 2021. So the first habit is to drink more water. I know, cliche, super predictable, I know, but it is nonetheless true and it is so, so important to drink your water. I was raised on like just drinking water. So ever since then, it's always been my go-to drink. This is the water bottle I carry. It's one of the Camelback ones. But one of my tips is if you guys are not like water drinkers or it's just really hard for you guys to drink water because you're just super used to juice or sodas or tea or anything like that, that's fine. But I guess just making that conscious effort to try to like go to water instead of something else is really important. So getting yourself a cute water bottle is really fun. You can get them anywhere. Um, I've seen a few on Amazon that I really like as well, but this is just the one that I've always had. So you can see here it says there's eight ounces of water left, and that means I drank about 24 ounces out of 32 ounces. So that's about three cups of water. Um, and it's only 11 in the morning, so three cups of water before noon is really, really good. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Sam Oscarell here on YouTube, but I love her channel. Like, she is super healthy, super positive. She just became a mom, and I'm just super in love with her channel. She gives off, like, the most amazing, like, positive vibes, and I really like that about her. She inspired me to start my channel as well. And she has something called Pretty Water, which is basically just like water mixed in with like strawberries, cucumbers, mint, um, literally anything. Lemon, of course, so she just calls it pretty water and I try to do that a lot. That's something I do have to work on myself though is to make the effort to chop up your fruit and put it in your water. But if drinking water is like the number one thing you wanna do, just start off with that and then maybe start creeping in with different fruits. So tip number two is to take your vitamins. Figure out which vitamins you need. This is something that I've learned to do is sometimes I'm like, wow, I'm really dragging or like I feel like my, mus my muscles are hurting, my bones are hurting, I feel sluggish, you know, what am I lacking? That's when you go to Google and figure out which vitamins you need. Maybe you're lacking iron, so you're not getting that from your diet, so you wanna make sure to take some iron capsules if that's what you need. Um, personally, I can tell right away because my hair starts falling out or um, my nails are super brittle, so I take biotin, or I can take like the hair, skin, and nails, which is like the same thing. Um, I do take iron as well. I take calcium and magnesium and zinc. Those are really good. I've also tried ashwagandha root powder. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. Basically a capsule, but you can also take it in the powder form. It's to help a person adapt and adjust to a situation where it's like different. Like if you're going through a move or you're going through some change, ashwagandha over time, I think it takes like eight weeks for it to start working. It's just supposed to help you adapt and just feel better about a change that you're making in your life or in your environment. I, to be honest, I have not been super consistent with ashwagandha, so I can't tell you if it works or not, but if you guys wanna try that out or get some more information or research on it, definitely do that. So collagen is really important. I also take collagen as well. Careof.com, I'm sure you guys have heard of that website. It gives you like a five minute quiz and it just asks you a bunch of questions and with that, they calculate which vitamins you are in need of. Number three is to find out which kind of exercise you like to do. I started doing yoga like a few years ago, I think back in like early, early college, and I really, really enjoyed it. I never went to a yoga class except for one time, 
and it was intense and it was really fun. I would usually just do yoga on YouTube and stuff like that and you guys, I would do like a 15, 20 minute video and after I was done, I would feel so good. Like I felt amazing, especially when you do it like consistently for like a whole week, you just feel amazing. So I would suggest trying to figure out what you like to do. Um, the gyms here in Texas are open already, but I just don't think it's the best idea to go to a gym right now. So I have not been to the gym since March and that is okay with me. But if you guys like to do weightlifting or if you guys like to do cardio, then that's awesome. I personally love going on walks outside. Those two things, yoga and walking are really fun. If you guys like to do spin classes or Pilates or anything like that. Cycling, I'm so curious about cycling. I would love to do a cycling class one day. Figure out what type of exercise you guys like to do. Tip number four is to make up a to-do list. Every time I go to sleep, before I go to sleep, I always make a to-do list on my phone. Like sometimes I'll be cute and I'll write it down and stuff, but usually I just put it on my phone. I type out what I need to get done tomorrow. So it's like things to do tomorrow. So, you know, sometimes it's like, you know what? I have to clean out my closet. I have to clean out, you know, uh, a bookshelf. Um, I'm gonna take Leia outside. I need to exercise, you know, these things with Leia. Um, I have to fold clothes. I have to wash laundry, make sure to clean the kitchen, stuff like that is always on my to-do list. One thing I do want to note that is also kind of like a sub tip is to not just write down things that you need to get done like chores or tasks, but also use self-care stuff, a shower, like write down, okay, I also have to, you know, just because I have to do laundry doesn't mean that's all I have to do. I also have to shower. I also said I was going to paint my toenails. I also said I was going to use a hair mask today and stuff like that. Or hey, I was going to take a walk today. Make sure you put that on your to-do list because you're important too. Self-care is very important. So you want to make sure that you include that in the things that you need to get done. Number five is my last tip. And I hope that if you guys take away anything from these tips video is that you accept change. You accept where you're at. You are important. Where your journey is at right now is very important. You want to like not compare yourself to other people and just continue on your own path at your own timeline. You are what matters and sometimes it's best to just kind of take a step back and think about yourself that you are not being selfish but you need to think about yourself and that is enough. 2021 you want to be able to think about yourself and also accept that not every day is going to be like amazing there are going to be days where you are not on your a-game and that is okay there's going to be days where like you're in a funk like i cannot tell you guys there's like been so many times where i've been in a funk for like three days to like a whole week and i just cannot seem to get out of it like i'm super grumpy in the mornings but having recognition and acceptance that this is temporary, this is a temporary feeling and that is just right now, is going to help you see, I'm gonna get out of this because you're gonna remember that and you're gonna be like, yeah, like I got out of it. So that is the most important tip of my video. So I hope you guys enjoyed my five tips to start in 2021 today. I hope you guys try this out. Let me know what your resolutions are. Are they some of the things that I said or other types of resolutions? I would love to know. I have to work on these tips just as much as you may need to. So definitely let me know what you guys are doing this year to just better yourselves as individuals to make 2021 a better year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.